Good afternoon, people. Good afternoon. How are you doing? It's your man, Tarvel Bailey. <clears throat> Coming live and direct. Live and direct. From the Blessed of All TV studios. So we're here, episode two. Episode two. Episode two of Life and Basketball. Life and Basketball. This will be my new show. Um, run a few episodes here before we switch it over to the fan page. Um, so this is strictly life and basketball where we t try to put together basketball and real life principles and life lessons and combine the two and, and get you to understand how sports and life works with each other. So if you're here, just give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, just, you know, type your name in the chat. Let me know that you are, in fact, on the broadcast so that we can get started. Today's topic is being marketable or marketability. I'm asking for you to give me some likes or just some comments um, so that I know who's on because Facebook does not necessarily show if I'm even talking to anybody. If not, you know, show still must go on. I'm trying to get IG to work, but something is going on, on with their live right now. But again, we're talking about being marketable. I have to be marketable in the things that we do so that we can have more opportunity. So today's show is being sponsored by Bless the Ball, All right, where we build you up and we take care of your academic, the social, physical, mental, emotional, um, psychological state and mindset. And we do it all through the vehicle of basketball. And we run year round. That's what we do at Bless the Ball. We do school programs, um, do small groups, we do big groups, and individual sessions, parenting um, courses, parent consultation, recruitment, the whole nine. Well, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm not sure if anyone is on or not. No one has responded yet. But anyway, I'm going to get started, and we always get started with an excerpt. So I want to start off with this excerpt from the book titled Understanding Life Through the Game of Basketball, my book. All right, if you don't have it, go pick it up. If you don't have a book, go pick it up. All right, you can get it on bit.ly. Backslash Bless the Ball book. You can go get my book, $19.99 plus $5 shipping and handling. Um, or you can contact me and I can. And if I post to you, I will personally deliver it as well as sign it. We do have the ebook on Amazon.com right now. Officially. So if you want the ebook, you can go pick up the ebook if you like to read, you know, on your Kindle, depending on what it is. Sometimes I like all your books. Um, hardcover books, you can always have them. Otherwise, <coughs> excuse me, um, Kindle is, is, is good for some others. So we're going to jump off into this, um, this book here, and I will read you an excerpt from a title here in this book, just so that you can kind of understand some of the content that's in the book, you know, understand some of my thought pro process that went behind um, writing this book. So this particular title here is called Why Do You Practice for Greatness? Why do you practice for greatness? Games I won in practice, not the actual match. So that's our launching pad right there. Games I won in practice, not the actual match. You know, too many times we wait until we get that opportunity. And, and we want to be ready as opposed to starting to prepare for it way back when and way back then. And 
then we're speaking about, about being marketable. If you're marketable, now you're just not practicing one, one study. You know, you're just not working on your jump shot. You're just not, not working on, you know, how far can you shoot? Because what if there are other great shooters? You have to be able to do something else. You may have to be able to drill. basketball and have to do other things. So you just don't wait until the coach say, oh, we need someone who can pass it. The only way you're going to get the game is if you pass it. So now you want to go work on your passing because you can shoot, right? So the games aren't won in actual games. Games are won in practice and the preparation leading up to that match. So um, there's my page. I had it. And okay, so the structure of practice, the structure of a practice will determine how the team goes about its business on on a daily basis. It becomes a learned behavior for sport and life. So the structure of practice determines how the team goes about its daily, you know, its business daily. It becomes a learned behavior and for sport and life. What are your daily routines? Depending on what your daily routines are, kind of talks about how you go about your day, what type of things you're accomplishing, what are you able to get done? You know, most people get up early in the morning, they may spend some time for themselves. Some people may just get up and, and they're rushing and, you know, maybe their, their day don't go right because they're automatically in a rush. Some people get up, they meditate, some people pray. Some people, uh, as soon as they get up, then they go wash up, then they go work out. Some people may not, you know, I don't know, may not even wash up and go work, work out. Um, depending on what your routine is, you know, I remember I think watching Rocky, he would get up in the morning, right, and he would crack his egg and he, he would eat his raw egg, right? That, that was his protein. Well, that was his daily routine. All right, so, the, and I, I'm not going to stop anymore until I get to the end. I want to read this excerpt. The structure of a practice will determine how the team goes about its business on a daily basis. It becomes a learned behavior for sport and life. Structure, like most educational policies, requires repetition. This is not something that you attain on the first day of class or practice. It is up to those in charge to re repeatedly reinforce every chance they get. This structure, however, will take time and patience. So the person in charge has to have self-control and discipline in order to pass it along to those under their care. I have always stressed certain principles into my team's mentality. They were all just as individually important as they were collectively to the concept of our team and growing as responsible men. These were being the top physical condition and mental condition, our defensive principles, making basketball plays, and selflessness. We simplified all of these things with drills that then carried over to the bigger picture. Fundamentals have always been paramount to our program. This is how we built sweat equity and garnered deeper appreciation for the game and each other. I'm going to stop right there on that. So it talks about your daily routine, but then it also talks about how the leader has to be marketable because the, the leader has to be, at times when you're talking about basketball, the leader has to be a coach, a teacher, a mentor, sometimes a father figure, sometimes a spiritual ad, ad, advisor, a disciplinarian, right? They have to be um, the listening ear, the teacher, the educator, the counselor. So the coach or the leader has to be marketable. And it talks about how it trickles down. You know, I'm not sure if, you know, some, some people that are on right now may understand the terminology trickle down economics, right? Because we were around, you know, kind of doing Reagan when they were talking about all that. But it starts from the leader and then it trickles down. So the leader has to be marketable and be able to do different things, not just be a coach. If the coach can only coach, he may not coach for a long time. If the only thing that teacher can do is teach, they might may not be around 
for a long time. So now let's take it to life. Even in, you know, in, in, in even in say music, if you know, the perfect example was drumline. Now they, you know, expected okay, everybody I need to know how to read music. Well, he couldn't read music. But he learned how to play by ear. But he was marketable because he was able to learn. And once he learned how to read music, then he became that much better. And he became that much better here. Because I did not know how to read music and, and you know, he playing and thinking he cold. But then when they got into him, like, you know, you big headed, you're not good for the team. And that goes into basketball too. You know, when people think that they're good and bigger than the team, you know, sometimes you have to add through subtraction. Or uh, subtract to multiply, however you want to phrase it. But once he humbled himself out and learned that he, you know, needed to be part of that bigger picture, because I talked about, right, that every individual is important to the team. And every individual is important to the bigger picture. So think about your job. Think about where you work at. It's an old saying that, that, that goes, no one snowflake ever started an avalanche. Think about that. You can tweet that. You can Facebook it. You can send it out. Hey, my quote, and I just love it. No one snowflake ever caused an avalanche. It takes many, right? Many together. Snowflakes cause the avalanche. So each individual is so important to the structure of, of the big group. But what if you can only do one thing? What if you work, let's just say, in the bank? And the only thing that you know how to do is to, you know, be a, a host. When, you know, first come in the bank, hi, how you doing? Um, are you here to see a personal banker or you need to go to the account? Okay, we'll sign in. But that's all you knew how to do. What happens now when they need a teller? Or they need a cashier? Better yet, what happens when that, and, and, and we've all seen those movies, when someone that is prepared, that may not have that opportunity, as soon as that person slips, they don't come to work. Or they get in trouble. Now, you have to be prepared for that opportunity, so you got to be marketable. Hey, I, I can do that, too, you know, the calling around, calling around. Man, who are we going to get to be the teller? You know, now now we got to put ads in the paper and go through all this for a couple of weeks. Now our, 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 our production is going to be down because we don't have anybody that can do that because we're already undermanned. Wow. Meanwhile, person that's working as the hostess or the host, they have that experience. They just never said it. But now when that time comes up and it's needed, I can do that. What do you mean you can do it? You, you, you've never done no other job here but that, but I have experience doing it. Well, I've been at home practicing because, again, the game is not won in the actual contest. The game is won in practice. How hard do you practice? You play how you practice. So if you practice hard enough, the game is going to be easy. So that person is at home, you know, they count money, or, you know, they, they speaking in the mirror, you know, how you doing? Welcome to the such and such bank, you know, how may I help you? Well, now I'm prepared when I get that opportunity. You know, I don't, I don't want to always talk about this particular player on this show, but when you look at the basketball game yesterday, LeBron James was, I would say LeBron James, right? LeBron James is marketable. He can play five positions. Like my, my favorite player, Magic Johnson. My favorite player in ever is Magic Johnson. The best player ever is Michael Jordan, and I love Mike. But the best player to me 
Yeah, it was Magic Johnson. Magic was marked before he played five positions. LeBron James can play five positions. And he showed it last night. You know, they, they brought Kelly Olenek out on him. You know? Okay, I'm going to pull him all the way out. Because y'all have disrespected me putting this dude on me. I'm going to give one move and go. That's a whole other conversation there, that one move and go. Sometimes we play around. You know, you get people playing playing with the basketball. Coach told me a long time ago, the worst thing they ever did to the basketball is put air in it. Now, I made a, a post earlier today about indecisiveness. We can't be indecisive. We have to make that decision and move forward. People just bouncing the ball.